money. I hop off my money. I read the cards. The stars are all coming. Guess I say read. I got say degree. No tricks up my sleeve. I charge because I run it. I know you want to be like me. Pop on a lash and see how I see. I know you see me on TV. Looking so snatch with lashes on flu. It has come to my motherfucking goddamn gay attention. They're pretty Ricky. Has allegations of underage sex with a minor and ancestral relationships with thy nephew. Nothing but a number. Not that pretty, Ricky. I'm talking about Ricky Martin. Y'all know the Latino pop star that living La Vida Loca. He pushes it in and pulls it out, living la vida loca. That's how y'all should have known that motherfucker was gay off the rip. But there has been a recent story that has dropped about him having sexual relations with his nephew. And they specifically used the word romantic relationship with his nephew. Uh, so when I saw the article at first, I first gasped. And the, the first reason that I did gasp is because I am a homosexual. Everybody knows I'm gay as both bites. If y'all knew I was gay, go ahead and give me rainbow emojis in the comment section. And the first thing I thought about it was from a macro perspective, that being that, oh my God, I don't want ignorant people to now associate all homosexuals with being pedophilistic. Now, you know, in your educated mind and in your liberal space, you don't think this way, but we still have work to do. Transgenders just now got rights to use their assigned bathrooms as the gender that they identify with. I have just recently watched Designated Survivor in season three. There was a transgender girl who also played in Sense 8 on Netflix and I wish they would have renewed that show. And they finally addressed transgender issues that happened on Capitol Hill. She walks into a bathroom. Somebody gets on the phone and says, it's a man in here. So I don't want as much work as the legitimate LGBT people, and I'm not saying Billy Porter's not LGBT legitimate or whatever, but the way he was looking at the goddamn Grammys, I mean, I, I, I personally didn't elect him to represent the nigga bitches up in Geese, okay? Let's just be clear. I mean, when you first came out with the tuxedo dress and stuff like that, and this is not about you, Billy Porter, but at the same time, I don't know what you're giving as of now, and I need you to give something that's gonna make me feel proud of you again, because what you gave, that won't it. But the legendary girls that was walking during that performance, now they was it, but you, you, it, it, I don't know what the, the show, the grade, the, the, I, you know, Billy, we got to do better. And Ricky, we might have to do a little bit better as well, simply for the fact of this being out there like this and it affecting the work that legitimate LGBT rights activists like Shannon Mock have been doing, you know. And so the transgender and the homosexual community, let me break this down to you really quickly. It's two different things. Gender and sexuality are two different things. I can be a gay man dressed effeminately. Uh, and, and gender non-binary like I am, or you can be a, a, a masculine acting homosexual. Our sexualities are the same, but our gender constructs are different. But it don't really matter what I'm talking about because Ricky Martin is about to goddamn obliterate all the work that we've done as a minority race under blanketing that of being a homosexual and me being gender non-binary. Okay, and the only public reference people have to that right now is Billy Porter and Big Frida. But because of this, it is almost antithesizing what we are trying to or what people have been trying to do that precede me. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that out there. So I don't want you guys to think that just because somebody is gay, they're liking your son. I also have a personal validation with that because when I first came out of the closet, my mother made me tell everybody in my family she was ignorant at the time and didn't really understand homosexuality and I've been blessed to be able to teach her about the culture and about you not making a mistake as a mother just because your child likes the same sex. Um, but in her mind, and that's a old school black mentality. Your child gay, he gonna fuck with my sons. And that don't make us pedophilistic. And I had to make that known for her as well. So that's why I feel so passionately about the political aspect of it. But then you gotta ask yourself the question, who's forcing that narrative? Maybe it's the same people who just overturned Roe v. Wade. Go with me here. Celebrities are characters that play a part in our real lives. Yes, they play in movies. But you don't think for the right amount of bad, you won't compromise 
recognize who you are as an individual or because of industry um, obligations that you have to the occult, but we're not going to talk about that. But it's, it's, it's setting a blanketing tone about homosexuality, which in Congress or which in politics could make it a little bit easier to just go ahead and revoke that bill, letting a uh, baby girl go to the bathroom when she want to go to the bathroom, the getting that li uh, marriage license that you have with your partner. You don't think that that is a stepping stone into that direction? You dumb. But I'm here to educate you, so go ahead and be dumb because... <laughs> Now that's the problem. Okay. Now, with that being said, what do I feel about Ricky Martin being innocent or guilty? Let me ask you your opinion. What you think? <laughs> okay. Take my opinion out of this, right? So take everything I just said out of what I'm saying. Do I feel like he is innocent or guilty without touching the tarot card? I feel like he's innocent. I don't feel like he did this. I feel like this is extortion. And I feel like this is his nephew, right? And it has to have been the brother who did not come forth revealing the identity of the nephew. He, I don't know how many brothers and sisters he has. I'm assuming it's a lot. It feels like a lot to me. Uh, but it feels like this is a brother who probably benefited from his career. And I honestly feel like there are other siblings in Ricky's family who didn't benefit as much as Eric benefited. Eric Martin is, is his brother's name. And I feel like because of that, they're using this nephew to extort Uncle Ricky out of some money. I even had a conversation session when this story first broke and I thought to myself oh nephew upset he didn't get that Ferrari that's what it felt like but then I thought to myself a 16 year old you said you had a relationship with this man from 16 years old up until now you're being 21 that's five years in the game Ricky has been on Ellen with his husband Ricky Ricky has been living La Vida Loca and you want to know I, I'm gonna read it, but my opinion also tells me that there's a deeper plot to this. Almost like sabotage. Because not only did you renege on the basis of your career, because you were a ladies' man, pushing it in and pulling it out, living la vida loca, and then you come out the closet. Do you know how many people feel gypped by your damn career because you did that? However, when you're that big of a celebrity, then it don't really matter. But 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 I guarantee people with the Ricky Martin poster up there, same way with Lance Bass and Instinct. Next thing you know, you see him at a Glory hole sucking dick, and guess what? Cause now it's the problem. Right. Okay. So I I I I I feel like this could be potentially career suicide, but your court date is in three days. And I'm about to read y'all and tell y'all what the hell finna go on. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble. Thank you. Okay, first question, Tara. I need to know. Uh, did Ricky Martin have an ancestral romantic relationship with his nephew? Hell no. It's, it's reading exactly what I said. As you, let me let me go ahead and shuffle this as well because I had some discrepancies on the bow I read talking about something wasn't shuffled. So let me go ahead and just throw the cards on the floor right here. Look, basically what this says is that he walked away from... From, who did he walk away from? The relationship or did he walk away from the entire family? This is the potential demise that could have been caused by fucking with these siblings. Okay, so basically, you don't fuck with these people whose nephew is saying that you had these allegations. You walked away from them because things could have gotten messy on your end. How long ago was this? Over 10 years. The Pharaoh is an ancient character. As you can see, I'm pulling these cards by random. So don't test me because uh, it will. Because now it's a problem. Okay, just know that. This said... This is a dated thing. So they were plotting this revenge for quite some time, is what you're saying. Yes, they were. As you guys can tell, that is me coming out the depths of my disparity to hold you accountable for your motherfucking actions with the Anon tarot card being upright. Okay, so in the way that the court is going to go, how are these going to go in, in Pretty Ricky's favor? Not that pretty Ricky, Ricky Martin. Let's see what's going down. Oh, my God. This is the Ravage card that shows up upright, and that's trying by the number four. For the next four months, you're going to be in hell with this shit. Is there delays? Um, no, not delays. Why is it hell? 
um, there are going to be other allegations that come up against you. Okay, so this is basically talking about the sex scandal shit. Like when somebody come out and say somebody is a sexual predator, um, then other people come forth. So they're building a case. Are these factual allegations? They're not. He's innocent. This is the Boots God tarot card up right. He's innocent in this. Is he going to get convicted? That's what I need to know. He might spend some time in jail. That's what this says. Oh yeah, he's going down. They, 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 they. Pull, uh, uh, this is the devil. Yes, I, I feel like there is going to be some things that you do become guilty of. Uh, pretty Ricky, not that Ricky, Ricky Martin. Um, uh, uh, is it this allegation particularly? No, you come out on top. This one's not the one you got to worry about. This not the one. This not the one. How soon will this go away for you? By Halloween, this is done, but you got about three more three more motherfuckers to come forth saying you done did some shit. Damn. Okay. Um, is Pretty Ricky ever going to make a comeback? <laughs> they got a lot to give, but nobody to give it to. Well, this has been another nationwide story. What can we expect from three days away from now when his court date is on the 21st of July? Delays, delays, uh, continuations. There's nothing going to be conclusive happening around that time. I wish you well, Ricky Martin, and I don't believe that you're guilty in this situation. I believe that your family has attempted to extort you, and they finally decided to use the... <gasps> do they know somebody in the politics system? Do they know somebody in the court? They do! Oh, my God, they do. They know people in politics. This is what took them so long because they had the position. Oh, my God. They coming for your bad friend. You better come see mother. I got some Santoria girls that can help you out of this motherfucking situation. This has been a nationwide reading from none other than Boots Durango, and I will never do this. I'm smoking crack on live. That's me. That's me. Let me smoke crack on my live. Okay, girl, whenever that was, if I want to see her smoke crack on my, not that's me. If you want to send me money for a reading while I'm smoking crack, that was on y'all. <laughs> okay, now I still read. But girl, I'm going to shut up because now it's a problem.